Hi friends. <laughs> Anyone else out there a Twilight fan? So today's look is inspired by the Twilight series. Um, I had put a hold on that book over the summer. Was it summer? Yeah, it was when we first got here. And I just barely finally got it. Um, so I'm going to start reading that. But today I am going to attempt to do my own version of a vampire. Nobody guessed it today, but that's okay. We still have a few more days for you to earn your entries for our end of the month giveaway. For those of you who are new, my name is Laylina Marlowe. I'm a beauty influencer with Pharmacy. I'm a designer with Origami Out, and I'm a Beachbody coach. So I just wanted to get started right away because it's already late. Um, I left my foundation even on my lips today because I am going to attempt to do some fangs on my lips themselves. I tried this last year. I wasn't too happy with the outcome, but we'll see if I can do it a little bit better today. So hopefully this look will be an easy enough um, vampire that can be replicated. Um, oh, and I just broke my pencil lead. <laughs> I was going to start with outlining my lips, but maybe I'll do that later. And I'll sharpen my pencil in a minute. All right, so let's not start with the lips. Let's start with the, with the eyes <laughs> instead. All right, so I'm going to start with our creamy eyeshadow. This one is red glaze and since vampires you see a lot of red and black that is why I'm using this red glaze on my eyes it is a cream to powder eyeshadow it's really pretty it's got some shimmers in it When I was taking out my Halloween decorations the other day, I did find my, I had some vampire teeth, but I really don't want to use those. I want to use, I just want to be able to put them on my lips and be done with them because those plastic vampire teeth the last time I tried a pair they kind of I don't know they're uncomfortable in my mouth anyway have you ever dressed up as a vampire <laughs> I think it's a popular look in fact um, Benjamin he was a vampire for his first Halloween he was so cute he was super fat and chunky and um, yeah he even had a little cape with his outfit and that year I even bought his dad um, my husband I bought him a vamp vampire cape so they could both be vampires my husband kept his on for like a few minutes and then he was done with it <laughs> Benjamin kept it on all night because he wasn't even one yet, so he kind of had to leave it on. All right, got that. I'm going to smudge it a little bit further out here. I know it's late. Today was a busy day with homeschooling and laundry and let's see, what else did I do? 
I also took the time to do my nails. I had done my nails the other day, but I wanted to do cute designs on them. So I put designs on them with All Pharmacy. I actually used my liquid eyeliners to decorate my nails, to put little faces on the ghosts and pumpkins. And then I just sealed them with a clear polish. They came out super cute. I love them. We're almost done. With the eyeshadow. I need a little bit more on this side, I think. Dark, there's that other side. Tiny bit more. I think that's good for eyeshadow. Bring it out a little bit more. From here, I'm going to do a little bit red underneath. Again, I'm still using that creamy eyeshadow. The vampires are the undead. They're a mythological creature that are killed with a stake through the heart. Yeah. My family is a fan of Hotel Transylvania. Such a cute show. It's so funny on the first, in the first movie, when uh, Johnny meets Dracula, and they're talking about vampires, and Johnny's like, couldn't believe that he was a real vampire, and he asks um, Dracula, so yeah, so a stake through your heart kills you, and he's like, well, who wouldn't that kill, right? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Who wouldn't be killed by a stake through the heart? All right, so I've got the eyes. Now that I've got the eyes, I'm actually going to... Let's see here. I'm going to use my Kajal liner. Where's my brush? There it is. All right. Now I'm hesitant because I haven't actually used it as liner yet, ever. So this is 
First time using this as eyeliner. really nice though it's very dark let's see here if you're watching and let's see here and if you like browsing my website I've just posted all of the links for um, my jewelry site, my makeup and skincare site. You can find all of those links down where I just posted. Don't want to mess this up. So tell me what kind of candies do you hope to get at Halloween. I like chocolate. Anything chocolate really. So now I'm going to do something a little um, fun here on the edge. I'm going to draw bat wings. I'm not sure though if I should do it with my cajol. I think I'll try it with the cajol. Let's see if I can do this. No, I'm going to do it with this and then fill it in with Kajal, just because I can feel the lines better with my liquid liner. Get my hair out of the way. Other side. Do those look even? Much better. Now I'm going to fill it in with my Kajal gel liner. Mm. 
What kind of candies do you hand out to trick-or-treaters? Usually we hand out the things that we like, just in case we ever have any leftover. Just scrape off a little bit of this. So who of you have actually already read Midnight Sun? Don't tell me what goes on, but, well, I mean, I guess it's just Edward's perspective from what I understand, so I already know what happens, right? But I'm excited to read it. Tomorrow is no technology day in our house, so there will be lots of reading to be done. Although sometimes no technology days are harder because then I spend most of my day reading to my kids, reading with my kids, and playing games. So that's always a fun day. But I sometimes actually don't get time to read something for myself on no technology days. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Just made that too thick. Don't like how it curves. Okay, there we go. All right, now from here, I was going to put red eyeliner on the bottom, but I'm gonna let my the black dry a little bit first, and I'm gonna get to these lips, see what I can do with that. Gotta sharpen my pencil, because I broke it earlier. I want to do the outline of my vampire teeth first. There we go. 
nice and sharp so that I don't color in it with red. So let's try this. Not as easy as I thought. All right, I've got the outline. Now let's actually work on the lips and hopefully it works okay. All right, let's start with the black. This is just a black eyeliner pencil, it's waterproof. up pretty well.
All right, I've got that. Now I am going to use my Superstar because it's a deeper red. I'm gonna use my Red Love for something else. <laughs> There's a sponge, a little little sponge on the tip of the eyeshadow brush. You can blend stuff in. So pretty. For those of you who watched my um, pirate live video, this is the same combination. I use Superstar and my black eyeliner. I was trying to avoid getting um, white on the red, or red on the white. Now to blend in a little bit on the bottom here.
How's that? Is it blended in pretty good? Mm. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's see the next part. I wanted to do is that eyeliner, and hopefully. <laughs> This is actually a lip liner pencil. We'll see how it does. I took a lot of ideas from a lot of different looks and I'm kind of mixing them up because there was just too many things that I loved. And I couldn't decide on just one look. inside try to get this red as sharp as I can All right. Let me get to then from here, they also had black underneath, so to kind of line that red.
Okay, for the eyes, I like it. Oh, let me see here. My here's the part that I was not too sure of. I want to do a little bit of black eyeshadow and and a little bit of white. I hope I don't ruin what I already have. Just kind of brush it on. a little bit darker but a little bit more for these creatures of the night Now we can do the mascara. Okay, let's see if that's dark enough. Do the mascara now. For some reason I don't feel very vampirish. Maybe because I'm not dressed up. Maybe if I had vampire clothes on. Hmm. Are you watching any fun Halloween movies? get ready for Halloween I was asking my husband earlier today if um, <clears throat> if our kids are old enough for gremlins yet I don't think they are so we might have to forego it for another year especially my son <laughs> he was upset the other day because we were watching thriller he said he'd have nightmares and he didn't, which was which was good. I mean, we've seen Thriller before. And I guess the last time we saw it, he said he had a nightmare. Um, but yesterday he didn't, so I think he's fine now. But Gremlins, I think, is probably still too much. Now, is Gremlins considered Christmas or Halloween? That's the question, too. Would you consider Gremlins a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? What other movies do you watch typically around Halloween time? I watched, let's see. I watched Hocus Pocus, and after watching it, I decided that there were too many words that they used that I didn't want my kids hearing. So it'll be a little while before they watch Hocus Pocus. What else did I watch? I watched Maleficent and showed that, well, only one, only Odette wanted to watch it with me. So she watched 
Maleficent and the second Mal Maleficent with me. Those are fun to watch. And it's so funny because after we watched Maleficent, Odette kept calling her Magnificent, <laughs> which I love because I love Ma Maleficent. She is magnificent. And I apologize for all the noise in the background. That is my chinchilla <laughs> jumping around. Making a ruckus. All right, I think that's curled enough. Let's get these eyelashes done. And speaking of Maleficent, if you love Disney, tomorrow Ori Origami Owl is releasing their Disney collection. The very first of many to come. And you are more than welcome to join my private group. We've already got um, images of the new items in that group. Um, the public can't see them until tomorrow, but I can show them in a private setting. So if you love Disney, let me know. These are my Mickey earrings. It's just one of the items that I am allowed to show that is in our Disney collection. They're super cute. They're, they're really dainty. They're not heavy. They've got Swarovski Swarovski crystals embedded all throughout. They're super cute. And the rest of this collection is adorable. So, again, if you love Disney, comment below. Let me know if you would like to see everything already. That way you have an idea of what you want to get right away.
I like that this um, that the red eyeliner is kind of giving my eyes a kind of a reddish look to them <laughs> with the reflection of the light and usually I think we see that a lot in vampires um, let's see here I think I might do the red a little bit higher up because I didn't really put as much as I thought I did but now looking back put a little bit more up at the top here um, and go higher Yeah, it's a little bit more dramatic. I like that. And on the other side, a little bit more. when I think of vampires I think of drama and being dramatic I don't know why I think it's just an over exaggeration of anything really it's because vampires are powerful yeah do you agree vampires are powerful Now, do a little bit more of that black.
the second coat of mascara. This is the volumizing coat. So this mascara is a two-step mascara. It lengthens first and then it volumizes. So first you take out the wand from the silver and then you take out the wand from the pink and that's where you get the difference in the application. The silver lengthens and the pink volumizes. And I still haven't posted my looks from the last few times, which I need to do. Just get so busy with homeschooling. And then I'm too tired. <laughs> like I told you the other day, I take pictures and sometimes taking all the pictures is very time consuming. on that bottom right here. That's better. Oh. There. All right. So now that I've got the eyes, I wanted to do a tiny bit of highlight. the tiniest bit of highlight okay and the very last thing that I was gonna do I was not gonna put blush on because you know vampires blush they are pale which in fact when I put my makeup on my foundation I did not put any of my BeFit Tinted Moisturizer because I did not want to look 
darker. <laughs> so, because I told you guys that stay matte that I got is a little bit too light for me, actually. So, all right, the last thing was this. To put a little bit of shine on my vampire teeth. Wait, that wasn't the last thing I was going to do. I just remembered. Because I like shiny. Alright, now the last thing I was going to do was, of course, got to make bite marks. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm trying to see if I can add some depth to this. It's hard to do. Dropping everything here. I don't know if I can do any better than that. I almost want to put... <laughs> I don't know what else to do to make it look a little bit more...
Oh, I feel like if I try to do anything more, it'll just ruin it. Um, let's see here. Maybe with my thinner brush. Can't even really see if I'm making them look like drops or not. Hopefully that looks like drops of blood. Alright, I'm going to let that dry real quick. While I... What do you think? <laughs> These lips actually came out better than last year's. I'll have to do a side by side. And the makeup came out a lot better. But I did last year's in a hurry, so I did not actually have time to do eye makeup when I did it. I don't think. I can't remember. You know, it's not easy <laughs> having to do things on a mirror. I'm trying to... Oh, yikes. See, I got, I got it off over there. I don't know how I'm going to clean that up. Get it? Not all of it, but I got some of it. <laughs> Arg! Can't believe I messed up right at the very end. Maybe if I color that red over again, then redo the white. But the thing is, I got the white off of the drop. That is the problem.
All right. <laughs> ah, got that. Now I gotta fix the white here in a second. What do you think? <laughs> Not too shabby. Better than last year's in any case. All right, there, I'll leave it at that. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. And if you catch the replay, make sure you say replay um if you share my video you will get entered into our end of the month drawing it's going to be super fun um we've got a few more days left i've got a few more ideas for looks and if you have any questions about items i am wearing or items i am i used for my makeup let me know and I will help you out. That's what I'm here for. So have a good night. And don't let the vampires bite. And I'm going to go read some of this tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm actually going to time myself to see how long it takes me to read the whole thing. All right. Have a good night, you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.